Warning, this article contains spoilers from Antiques Roadshow. Antiques Roadshow saw, iconic, rock and roll posters given a staggering value, after their owner passed away 28 years ago. The PBS Daytime series saw expert James Supper praise a collection of a whopping 47 posters from 1967 to 1969, which had belonged to the guest's teenage brother. Explaining their origins, she said, I brought my brother's concert posters that he started collecting in the early 1960s as an early teenager. He used to send money for postage to Bill Graham and the Fillmore West and they'd send him a poster in the mail to Oklahoma City. My brother passed away 28 years ago, I believe, and they were always on his wall and I thought they were gone. She continued, I was talking to my mum about it and said it would be really nice if we had those posters back since he was gone and she said, I have them in a box under my bed. So that's where they've been until about a year ago. It was Sup's turn to step in as he stated that when it comes to posters, condition is everything, before discussing a few he had handpicked from the vast collection. Pointing to the poster closest to him, he said, the first up is one of the most iconic 1960s rock and roll posters, the Jimi Hendrix Flying Eyeball from 1968, with art by Rick Griffin, and it is just the peak of 1960s psychedelic art. This is among one of the most desirable collectible rock posters. This is a first edition and you can tell, because of the placement of the Bill Graham and the poster number. The poster number is 105 from Bill Graham Presents and because of its placement under the word Tickets, you can tell it's a first edition. In this condition, with no pinholes but a little bit of damage to it, but not much, very minor, we put an auction estimate of $5,000 to $7,000. Quote dot, no way, no way. Wow, that's awesome, the guest began to tear up when Sup reminded her that this valuation was just for one of the posters. She queried, well it's the best, right? To which Sup replied, it's among the best, yes. It gets better when we go through all of them. The second poster, which was a 1968 print from the Jimi Hendrix experience, was then valued somewhere between $3,000 and $5,000. The final poster hanging up on Antiques Roadshow was that belonging to the Grateful Dead for their first ever concert in New York in 1967, pricing it around $2,000 and $3,000. Stunned, the guest said, wow, for a poster, with Sup once again stating that she had 47 of them. I can't even do the math, she exclaimed with the expert more than happy to step in and work it out for her. You've got 47 posters, and for a grand total of, at auction, between $20,000 and $35,000. Tearfully, she replied, oh wow, that's great, oh my goodness, wow. He loved them and I love them too. I want to do something with him, you know. I don't know what to do. Enjoy them, not in a box anymore. Antiques Roadshow US is available to watch on PBS.